Hey folks, this is Nod, and we're playing Space Engineers. Alright, this is another space trucking episode. Uh, Alright, so, so far I've done some mining. I hauled all the stuff to the um, refineries. We did some uh, processing in, into ingots. I then hauled a bunch of stuff to my low Earth orbit station. Then we took another spaceship down to uh, Earth here, where we're processing the uh, ore of this fantastic... Uh, uh, facility here uh, on the side of a lake, which is all very pretty. So, um, all right, next thing to do is, uh, as you may not be able to see here, um, I pretty much filled up my quota here. I ran out of iron, so I guess we're good to go on steel plate. That's about all we're going to get. Anyway, we've got almost 200,000 steel plate. Everything else is looking good, so I think it's time to move some stuff. So, uh, let's do that. Okay, so all our ingots are in this container here, and also in this um more ingots here you see we got ingots and we got more ingots we got lots of ingots so uh yeah i need to haul these out of here well almost fell to my death <laughs> oops all right so we need to hop over here to my star lifter once again and we're going to take that for a quick spin star lift door so through some uh, diabolical plumbing down here um yeah this will actually uh, go all the way to the ship so let's offload the uh the stuff and we will haul that over to my spaceport across the lake here. Okay, that's not working. Bit troubling. What's going on here? Possibly because the ship isn't turned on. Again. Brilliant. Why are you not working? Oh, I'm an idiot. We're not hauling ingots, are we? We're hauling components. Derp. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's the tube where you put the ingots in. Uh, yeah, alright, let's. Uh, Disconnect. Move over. One's in, one's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or rather. Yeah, idiot. Okay. For the third time. Alright, so we got all this stuff here. Uh, so it's about six million in there. I'm not going to take the ammo, so. Yeah, this is within doable amounts, I'd imagine. So we're going to take everything here, completely leave this place <coughs> excuse me, dry, so we will just process the next thing. As I said, we don't really build much stuff here, so this isn't really an issue. Oh yeah, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Okay, leave the ammo, make these power cells. Explosives, oh, I love carrying explosives. Alright, gravity gens. Gotta love the steel plate. Thruster components, always need that. Okay, there's our load. So, 5.8 million kilograms. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Do we need to bring any ammo? Don't think so. Alright, let's depart. Oops. Back out of my favorite parking spot here and avoid my favorite tree. If we can. Okay, off to the store port we shall go. A friend of mine on the server actually just built a uh, similar ship to this um, called the Grasshopper. We'll have to go check that out at some point. It was supposedly inspired by this. Basically, I don't know, I just used giant thrusters everywhere and he was like, oh cool, I want to do that. 
he had some issues with his though, I believe. Uh, something about um, it falling off the build platform and exploding. But um, yeah, I've been there, done that too. Haven't we all? All right, coming up four clicks out. Let's keep an eye on the stopping distance here. So about 700 meter stop distance. Okay, don't aim. Where are you going? Buck Rogers, ready to roll. Oh, that's right, I gotta fuel it up too, don't I? Don't let me take off without uh, fueling her up, otherwise we're gonna get about halfway up there and then... Yeah, that would be bad. Especially with 6 million uh, kilograms of stuff on board. Very expensive stuff too, I should add. Oh, these docking ports right in front of the view make it just too easy. Boing. And we are docked pretty good. Okay, let's shut this down. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, what's going on with this uh, rocket ship. Up into here. I'll fix that Uber landing gear, yeah, I do. All right, so we got power, that's all good. All right, since the starport fuel reserves are at 41%, hydrogen tanks on the rocket are 25%, so yeah, we need to do some uh, transferring of resources there. So I got a lot of hydrogen tanks on the star base. Let's see, um, all right, here's my Buck Rogers hydrogen tanks. We're going to put those onto stockpile. And if all goes well, it should suck it out of the base. Yep, looks like it's working. Yeah, gonna have to get some more ice here, aren't we? Although I do have some ice on the ship, which we probably don't need to have on board. Okay, good. Yeah, we got a fuel. You know what? Um let's move that ice actually. So let's see. Okay, both generators got a little bit of ice in it. Let's move that down to the base here. Two generator. Okay, good, good. All right, so that should start to make us some more hydrogen. So when we get back, uh, we should have some. Pretty good. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, that's a big rocket. I think I might have overbuilt this a little bit. Then again, holding large cargoes, you need large ships. There's a door on here somewhere. There she is. In we go. It's always a debate whether I want to use this cockpit here. I want to use this one, darling, because I want the artificial horizon to be level. Okay, so we'll hop into the seat, which is going to crooked. All right, let's power this beast up. Okay, looking good. Okay, cargo mass is, uh, yeah, we need to transfer our uh, goods, don't we? Oh no, I already did that, I thought. Didn't I? No, maybe not. Alright, so... Let's see the 
cargo mask going up in the background there. It's a little hard to see, but it's kind of nice to see that's working. Had some issues with that recently. Quite know what the deal is. All right, all filled up. 58% capacity. That's not bad. Should be okay. All right. Engines are go. All right, let's decouple and get the heck out of here. I, feel like, I always feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh, turn the antenna on. That would help. Oh, what the hell? Bad, bad, bad things are happening. What's going on? Uh, used to be have a problem. Oh, we're so falling over, aren't we? No, don't do that. Are we too heavy or something? Oh, this is very bad. Very bad. Okay, landing gear. Park. Do I have any landing gear left? I think I've broken the landing gear. What the heck? Why do I got no... Hydrogen's turned off. I did fuel it up, didn't I? Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, I can kind of hold it up with my mouse, with the gyros for a bit, but... This is very bad. Ay, ay, ay. Get it more stable. There's no landing gear, right? No, broke both landing gear off. Why, why am I hydrogen thrusters? Hydrogen thrusters not working. Ah, I can't really check it out either, because it keeps falling over. If I don't stay on top of it, I'll lose the whole rocket. Oh, this is not good. All right, I'll need it this way. Come on. Stay up right. Please. Stay up right. Really wants to fall down the hill. Alright, um. Oh, this is a real problem. <laughs> I need rescuing. Alright, please just stand up on your own. No, well, that's not good. Darn it. To do. It's not tell me anything. All right, I need the hydrogen engines. Let's see what's going on with hydrogen. Hydrogen tank, 100% full. Oh, you evil thing! All right, they're on. Got no thrust. They're off. Okay, I'm hearing something. What the heck? Is there something to do with this? Nope, not that. This makes no sense. <laughs> I've got fuel, but no rocket wants to ever run. Won't run. All the thrusters are off. Not cool. Alright, is this thing going to fall over? I guess we have to find out. Please don't. Okay, I think it's staying put. Not cool! <laughs> Alright, I think we're okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Um... Right. Why are the hydrogen... Why is it not working? Working. Makes no sense. You got a power or something? Power is got power. Yeah, O2 generators doesn't really matter. How about tanks? Hydrogen tank. Oh, I've got it set to stockpile. Don't I? <laughs> Which means it ain't gonna give anything to the uh, to the engines. Ah, oh, you idiot. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright, let's try this again. 
this time with feeling. Get it upright. Ah, yeah, it works much better when you when you got the tanks turned on. Ah, oh, boy. All right, all I did was lose some landing gear. Idiot. All right, well, at least I don't have to go troubleshooting any of that anymore. We're good. All right, going up. I'll fix this. Uh, fix this once we get up there. Wow, what an idiot. <laughs> Building up. Yes. A bit more cinematic than they had done. There we go. Alrighty, going up. All right, so now I can use the. Uh, using the thrust override. So the idea now is I want to run just enough thrust to keep us going. Your lower left there, you got the speed. Alright, so we're dropping off now. I'm at down to 3 megawatts. Mega newtons. It's dropping ever so slightly, but I think as we go up it'll start climbing again. So I only want to burn enough, just barely enough hydrogen to actually get up there, so wrap it up to 4 mega newtons for a sec, get it back up to 100 meters per second. Wonderful groaning sounds. Okay, we're at 3 mega newtons and holding, good. 79% hydrogen, looking good. Okay, drop it a little bit more. A little bit more. More. Down to two mega newtons. That's probably where I want to be. There we go. Save that ice. All right, going up. Drop it down again. It's all going very well. Down to one mega newton of thrust. We're still climbing. Fourteen thousand feet and going up. Ah, I can't believe it. <laughs> Gosh. Hydrogen tanks are on stockpile, so they're um, I'm not going to give up any of it. Yeah. As soon as I hit P, the whole rocket just dropped. Uh, I've done this a few times before too, but I, uh, it's the first time I've done that. Got to turn it off and take it off stockpile. Dumb. Pretty dumb. Okay, let's drop it a little bit more. Down to 900 mega kilonewtons now. Okay, very good. So we need to get to 42,000 uh, meters. And we are going to Leo Station. Which is up there, 22 kilometers away. Somewhere. Okay, speed starting to stabilize again. I should start accelerating. Let it get a little slow here, but save it some ice at least. Okay, speed's going back up again. Good, good, good. Up 
Mars over there. Got a big old rover on Mars, I do. Haven't used it in a while, though. Last time I was over there, the wheels fell off, but I think I fixed that. You know, rovers and wheels. Lots of fun. All right, how we doing here? Back off the thrust a little bit more. Stay on 600 kilonewtons. Just sipping the hydrogen now, barely using any. It's an unknown signal. A bunch of I don't think I'm going to get to that one in four minutes. 116 kilometers away, jeez. Alright, we're down to 300 kilonewtons. It's more or less holding. See the engine's barely doing anything now. We like thrust override, we do. Okay, get into the meteorites. Meteors? Not meteors, uh, asteroids. What are we talking about? If they fell, they would be meteors. Which is odd that they don't fall, considering we're still in the planetary gravity. Maybe they're orbiting. That could be. Kind of cool if this game did have orbital mechanics. This ain't no Kerbal Space Program, that's for sure. One of these days they'll uh, combine all that stuff into one. Alright, coming up on 39. Actually, you know what? Alright, so. Initial depth is off. Disabled. We are going to rotate upside down. Preparation for braking. So we're just coasting now, getting our, velo our forward velocity, or rearward velocity now, get us the last 200 meet uh, 2,000 meters. As soon as we see the space rain, I'm going to clank on, put on the, uh, there it is, and we're decelerating. Brakes. Awesome. Okay, let's hop in my space chair now. That's the Earth chair, this is the space chair, something like that. Alright, so where are we going here? It shouldn't be far from where we need to be. Leo station's over here somewhere. Here it is. Alright, we're going to dock with Leo here and uh, offload our cargo into the Pun Skipper, which is a jump capable ship. I mean, I could just put a jump drive on this, couldn't I? But I don't know. I like to use multiple ships for specialize them and things like that. It just makes things a little bit more interesting, I think. If I have one ship that does it all, it's like, um, I don't know, then I don't get to drive lots of different spaceships, I guess. Like flying with the dampeners off, it feels very much more space-like to me. I like to. I'm going to use the dampeners when I get in close, but uh, this 
not well illuminated, is it? so bad in that cockpit. I don't know. There's red lighting I'm using, perhaps. Got a couple of ubers on the top here. I gotta be careful. Easy does it. Easy does it. I forget I got the full thrust for going forwards and very little for braking thrusters. And we are docked. Mm -hmm.